welcome back to Island Life Live. And yep, you got to hear this. A big weekend for award shows. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. There was the British Academy of Film and Television Awards, otherwise known as the BAFTAs. Now, you know, I know you guys are like, why are we talking about a British award show, sister? But this is actually the precursor to the Oscars. Oh. And this actually kind of sets the tone for what we might be seeing at right. the Oscars. Well, Oppenheimer and Poor Things took the lion's share of the awards. While some were completely shut out, Barbie, Not. Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower <gasps> Moon, and no. Bradley Cooper's Maestro all walked away with nothing. Wow. It was crazy. But the big moment of the evening was a rare appearance by Michael J. Fox. You guys remember him? Of oh course. yes, Marty McFly. Mm -hmm. He presented the Best Film Award. No matter who you are or where you're from, these films can bring us together. There's a reason why they say movies are magic, because movie movie can change your day. It can change your outlook. It can sometimes even change your life. And I would have to Aww. agree. It was wow. really, really good to see him. Um, and you know his organization again has raised two billion dollars in the fight against parkinson's disease wow. Amazing. which is what he was um, diagnosed with back in 1991 and then he just had to stop acting altogether in 2020 so oh my gosh it was good to see him there yeah. and you know this is probably my favorite award show because it's the people who choose the best in music movies television and pop culture it's a 2024 people's choice awards it was hosted by simu liu shang chi <laughs> and included 45 categories barbie won the top movie prize 45? 45, 45 that's like, categories. Is that, a, that show like three days long? <laughs> yeah. It happened the whole weekend. They make them fast. <laughs> you win and you win and you win. You like Oprah. Wow. <laughs> well, well, Grey's Anatomy, and I, please forgive me, I haven't seen this show since it first came out. It was voted TV show of the year. I didn't even know it was still on the air. Grey's on the, Anatomy. It's still on the air. <laughs> we don't even have cable, sis. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, only, only for KITV. That's my only cable right here. Other big winners included Taylor Swift, Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, Yes, Travis Kelsey. Mama, Ice, that's my man right there. <laughs> Ice Spice, Beyonce, Jennifer Aniston, Pedro Pascal, also your man. Yeah, Mandalorian. And much, much more. <laughs> but it was Adam Sandler's acceptance speech of the People's Icon Award because he was he believed he was accepting the People's Sexiest Man Alive Award. <laughs> <laughs> that was like super hilarious. And then Lenny Kravitz received the Music Icon Award after an electrifying performance. It was just yeah. Amazing. He was he was awesome. It was. He was awesome. And you know he's like what sixty years old, maybe even older. But he looks like he's you 21, 21 plus. That guy no age. Is that, Ooh, is that Jason awesome. Momoa's BFF? They are actually very right? good friends. They're very good friends, even though they're both ex-husbands of the same Wahine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Koi Moon, Lily Koi Moon, or Lisa Bonet. Right? And you know, speaking about Lenny Kravitz, you know, did you see his acceptance speech? I did. A powerful acceptance speech. Like, yeah. He was he, saying like, no matter how much people wanted to offer him money to change it to be to like fit in, he was like, no, I'm just going to be authentic and stay true to myself, and he did. Mm -hmm. and, powerful. and look at where his career has taken Genuine him. Genuine and authentic. We shall live by that too. Just Absolutely. Awesome. And you know, in a very surprising move that has stunned Hawaii families and foodies. We're just going to switch out of the award shows and go to food. Because <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love food. That's why, guys. Outback Steakhouse <gasps> closed. Yeah, we huh? saw that. All of its locations. What are they going to do with that extra? They could get pumpernickel bread or something, yeah? The rye bread. Yeah, the oh, rye it was bread. A, it was the rye bread, the bread and the, the, the bloomin' onion. Oh. Yes. Right? And that I was still, the big thing. And I didn't use my gift certificate. Oh. I had a $100 gift certificate. What? My gift card. It's no good, sister. Oh, it's, I'll put me one frame then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right up there with Gordon Beers and all the other places that right? keep closing. Yeah. Oh, and, but sadly, th this one was very abrupt, fam. Its doors were shuttered abruptly yesterday with little to no warning for those who work there. And a lot of the customers were, you know, they were trying to rush there to use their gift cards. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them shared their concern for those who lost jobs. Oh, okay. The owners of Outback did say that it was strictly a business decision and not reflective of the management or staff. Uh -huh. Just like Sizzlers. Remember Sizzlers? Oh. That was a place for us growing up and gems. stuff. Oh, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. The salad bar. Salad you know, bar. once mm -hmm. Blazing Steaks came about and, you know... <laughs> we you get $6 steak <laughs> plate. <laughs> oh, it's oh, hard. Oh, for oh, Sizzlers, you out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sister. Too bad we can't use that gift card, but that's okay. Ooh, yeah. What if I just put it in a frame and keep it? It's probably going to be worth a lot of money. Or is there, is there any... <laughs> Restaurant that will honor Melly's. Yeah, because Melly's hundred dollar outback. Probably not. But thanks for the thought, anyway, Lena girl. <laughs>